What's up guys, uh, Jeff here. Welcome back to the weekly update right here on Deco Creek TV. Uh, so last week we had our uh, Hall of Fame series training for our liquid metals and polyarmor systems. And uh, something that we talk about uh, during those trainings, a big deal to us is moisture content of a concrete slab. And um, you know, so we all know that you can't put a concrete coating on top of a slab that has a moisture content uh, too great on that slab, or it's just gonna end up um, making the coating fail over time. And so, a great way to test moisture is with a concrete moisture meter. And I've got this one here from Tremex. Um, it's their brand new uh, 2020 model of their CME5. And it's got a couple um, updated uh, features uh, for 2020. And um, so I'm just gonna kind of show you guys what this thing is, what the new model looks like, and then actually um, show you how to use it on a slab. So uh, first of all, it comes in this really nice uh, carrying case. Um, you know, these things, uh, they do cost a little bit of money. And so take them to the job site, keep it in this case, and uh, it won't get banged around um, from being in your toolbox. So as we open this thing up, um, we can see that um, it looks a little different than the one that we've had in the past. Um, some of this stuff, um, uh, there's actually um, a Bluetooth feature on this. When we're testing the moisture content of a concrete slab, there's definitely a difference in whether the surface is ground open or whether it's not. And I'm actually gonna show you guys that we have one piece of concrete here and we're gonna get two different readings just for um, testing the this part that's ground and the part that's not. So uh, first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna start by just go ahead and turning it on. You can see my, my uh, indicator light uh, lights up so I know that the thing is powered on, ready to go. So I'm gonna set this thing down the concrete and you're gonna be able to see that needle jump just a little bit and that's a good indicator that I know it's actually turned on. And so now that I have it down, I'm just gonna actually push this all the way to the ground till it bottoms out and you're gonna see um, it's gonna give me a reading and that's um, you know just um, right about three and a half. And now if I jump to this spot over here, and actually set it down, you know, it's about six inches difference. It's actually all the way up to four now, um, right in that spot. So just uh, with one spot being ground open and one spot um, still having the surface on, um, I'm actually getting a different reading there. The other cool thing about this meter is it actually has a pause feature on it. So uh, what this pause feature allows us to do is I can go ahead and set this down, bottom it out, grab my reading and hit my pause button. And now it'll actually hold that reading um, right there if I needed to um, you know, take a picture of it or whatever I needed to do. If I was gonna continue to check this floor you know, throughout this building, I'm gonna get a lot of different readings. And um, you know, we should always be checking along exterior walls, along drain, um, drains in the floor, or you know, any, anywhere where you think there might be a higher chance of a higher moisture content, um, always check those areas. If you're reading a lot of moisture um, on <laughs> this part here, um, that's basically the surface is still there and it's just holding that moisture in a little bit more. And so I'm gonna get a higher reading here. I know that this is a true reading um, where the concrete's ground open because I know I don't have any of that surface that this blocking anything there. So um, again, the moisture meter is really fast, really easy. There is no reason not to uh, be checking multiple spots um, around the building. Guys, if you have any questions on um, testing moisture in concrete or these moisture meters or anything else related with decorative concrete, please uh, leave your questions in the comment section below this video. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next week.